Hey guys, MCU Collector here with a real quick video. I'm just going to try something um, that I've, that a buddy of mine actually had mentioned. I'm going to kind of see it for myself and see how this works out. Uh, but I picked up the movie Black Panther basic figure. Now these are the 6 inch figures. Um, they previously had these in the Guardians of the Galaxy line, and Avengers line, and then the Spider-Man line. Um, and then also a Spider-Man Homecoming line. So they are basic figures. Um, I think they retailed for $7.99. Uh, the new Black Panther movie figures are actually retailing now for $9.99. Um, so an increase in the price. But when you look at like the detail that is actually in the sculpt of these, um, then you'll see it kind of justifies that price. And then they actually come with um, accessories. Like you see the movie Shuri figure actually comes with those Panther gauntlets. Um, and then... You have Black Panther and Killmonger, but um, those ones actually do come with accessories as well. So that's why they have that increased cost um, due to the detail and due to the accessories. Um, but I'm going to give this one a shot because these don't really sc scale too well with the Legends. Uh, but this is going to be, I'm assuming, the only Shuri uh, movie figure that we will be getting. Um, so I believe the head could be swapped on to either the Nakia or the Okoye uh, Build-A-Figure. So we're going to give it a shot and try it out. Um, I know lots of customizers out there are actually doing different things with this figure. I'm just curious. It's not something that I'm going to keep displayed in my collection that way or anything like that. Uh, but I'm just curious to kind of see how that's going to look. Um, and then see how tall or how well Shuri stands up to the movie figures. Because she may actually go into my collection like this as well. Since um, it is a movie figure and we won't get a Legends figure for it. And then if, if it scales well, looks decent... I may go back and get the Shocker figure from the Spider-Man Homecoming Wave. Even though it's not technically movie accurate, it is the closest that we are going to get. And it is um, based off of, I would say, conceptual art, concept art for the movie. Um, I think, you know, there were early, early leaked images of Shocker. And I think he actually had some kind of mask or something or some kind of hoodie over his face. Something like that. And leaked set footage. Um... So I think it kind of goes, but we're going to open this up and take a close look at those gauntlets because those are pretty cool and then look at the figure overall and then we're going to try that head swap. So I'm not even going to cut the video or anything. We're just going to get right to it. And you can see that these figures are, a, I believe, a 7 POA, 7 points of articulation. Um, normal 5 POA you would see on basic figures, but this one does have articulated elbows. But there are no knee joints at all. So it's basically a stiff figure that really doesn't do a whole lot. So you can see one thing that you definitely notice that they really skimped out on is no hair. There she is based on the movie. Long hair. Figure does not have long hair. So that's kind of a disappointment already. But hey. There's paint on the back of the figure, so hey, it's not completely all bad. They did put some effort into it a little bit. Um, and then it's sculpted completely throughout the figure, so you can see all the sculpt work that's really gone into the figure. Um, not a whole lot of paint. The paint that is on there is done pretty nicely, except for the face sculpt. I think, you know, it's not the greatest, especially um, around the eyes. I don't know if that red spot there under her eyebrow right above her right eye is supposed to be there what that is um there's a red spot on her cheek too so i don't know what's going on there but um, overall it's actually a pretty decent figure when we look at basic articulation elbows go up they go down rotate all around single jointed elbow just like any female legends figure the head a little stiff but does turn no hinge and then you can see the, the hip joints, they just go straight out. Not even back, or very, very tiny bit back. Um, and then again, no ankle. So we have this nice added kind of skirt piece, or it's not really a skirt, but um, just kind of hangs on there. Um, if Actually, look at that. Clips right on. You can take it on, take it off. It's not bad, but there's a figure. Now let's see about this head. And just pops off like a legend's head. Right on a ball joint. You can see there is no hinge to it. 
Let's try the Nokia figure first, since this is kind of the easier, the, the figure that's uh, more accessible to get, since it's a single carded figure as opposed to the build a figure piece. But you do some kit bashing, say you buy another one, you get the torso, maybe switch it with the legs or something. Um, there's all kinds of different options. So let's see how that fits. And it's a tight fit. Doesn't really work. So, doesn't fit on the Nokia figure. Pop that back on. That goes back on. And again, this head and the Okoye head are not interchangeable. That ball, that ball joint does not fit both figures. So, let's take a look at this one. Pops off very easily. Let's get the Shuri head. Fits on there, but very, very loose. Very, very loose, but does fit on there. I think size-wise, actually, I think it works. It may be on a tad too big. And you can see the height difference. Uh, between the bodies of the figure so you can see they don't really scale well even though it is a six inch scale figure um, it just does not scale too well and then say well, I'm not gonna you can't really remove that but you know if you were doing some kind of customizing work that could work on there but it does fit if you wanted to use that. The head does pass. Um, I, I, I thought I would like it a little bit more. I don't care for it too much. But maybe for customers that can give her this look. Um, it's close enough if you just do some black, some bluish purple, put some gold line work in there. Um, it, it'd be dis decent. It'd definitely pass. It'd be passable. But... With the head like that, it's not a good fit. But let's check out these gauntlets because that's, I think, the highlight of this figure is these Panther gauntlets. So you have that electricity effect that's in there, which looks really cool. It's another uh, translucent blue plastic. So done very nicely. There's some good line work in the Panther. There's no paint to it whatsoever. It's a flat black. And you can see that it just kind of fits over the hands of the Shuri figure and let's pop this head right back on you can see it just kind of fits over these arms and you can just kind of snap and push them into place and you have those panther gauntlets So that looks very good. I like the way that looks actually. Now these pieces, if you wanted to, so if you were gonna do some of your, some customizing work, um, they should fit just nicely over a Legends figure on their arms. Just like so. So the, you know, for some of you guys that do a lot of figure photography, have dios and dioramas, you know, all different kind of settings. Uh, the 10 bucks for this figure could be worth it for the gauntlets alone because, you know, you can do some really good shots with those accessories. I think they look really good. But there's a quick video for you guys. You can see the movie Shuri figure. To close off the video, we'll give an actual size of the figure. So six inch scale figure, about five and three quarters of an inch. So not even quite six inches. Um, so unless she's really short compared to T'Challa in the movie, she's not going to scale real well. I think it's decent, but until I see her in the movie and see how she really stands up to the other characters from the movie can't say for sure if it's really going to work in in your display 
I'm still probably going to display her in mine, and I'll probably get the Shocker figure. Uh, but, eh. But for 10 bucks, it is definitely a good, good figure, a good purchase, because these gauntlets are pretty awesome. I do really like that. But there's my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have any questions, leave a comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Peace.